Simp dated an OnlyFans girl and she ruined his life. So I've made a video about this guy before. And last time he appeared, he was dating this girl. And I thought he was kind of, I thought he's making money from her. I thought that's, that's what his motive was. But it turns out he actually loved this woman. So you're single, Mick? It's gonna be in the inbox here. What happened? Well, that's what I'm here to discuss. Nick, Nick, that, that's what I'm here to mic. discuss about is, is being single now. Yeah. All right, Mick, give us give us the background here, okay? Um, um, so last time I was on the podcast that many have seen, uh, I was with uh, Keith. Can, can you Keely. scoot into the table a little bit? It's kind of hard between these. Or two do you want to just hold the mic? You can hold the I, mic. I can. Just get, um, get close to it, get close to it. Okay, so last time I was on here, I was with uh, Keely Rose, who um, is an OnlyFans uh, girl. And uh, yeah, she basically, um, after six years of living together and, and being together every day, she left me for another guy. And she's currently in Melbourne, uh, Australia with this other guy. Um, and it kind of came abruptly um, uh, out of nowhere for me a few months ago. And uh, I was very heartbroken about it, but uh, now I'm here ready to uh, discuss it and uh, show that I am okay and I will survive. You guys were married, right? <laughs> were you guys we married? Were, we were engaged. Engaged. And right. uh, for a few years we were engaged and I definitely was committed to her and definitely loved her and wanted to be in a monogamous relationship with her and was monogamous uh, during that period. Um, even though she was doing things with other guys for money, um, I always Wait, figured what? that at least, even if it was for money, uh, at least she still loved me and it was- How is that a monogamous relationship then? Does, that, does he mean he was being monogamous and she wasn't? Because that's what that sounds like. It's just sex, it wasn't love and it wasn't making love and she would come back to me and that would be love um and uh you know now it's pretty wild when a woman is actually able to detach love from sex that's when you know it's just a, a different animal you're dealing with i'm 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 definitely you know shocked by it you don't expect your spouse to uh leave you for another uh man but you know uh stranger things have happened in this world and so i'm not alone uh i'm sure there's many guys in my boat but I'm all right because I still have my uh, dog and uh, we go hiking and do things together so at least I'm not alone <laughs> and uh, I do um, I am uh, you know I purchased my first property for investment so I do have uh, that's what's up cash flow that's gonna be coming in soon so I don't need her money anyway um, and uh, I'm purchasing um, a house in, in North Carolina It'll feel pretty empty, uh, you know, up in the mountains there by my, without her, you know, cause I was. So we're seeing a lot more situations like this where the woman is the provider. And of course she left the guy. He probably just was a placeholder. So she didn't feel lonely until she could find a man who, who, who satisfied the hypergamy within her more than this guy. The bottom line is a lot of this comes down to inexperience. You know what I mean? Like it's just, a guy like this, all I can really think about is how inexperienced this guy probably is with women. Like, if you look at what's going on, these a lot of these girls out here, a lot of these women out here, they're very experienced. They have a lot of experience. So I kind of look at it like these girls are out here are black belts. And then a guy like this here in the black shirt who's talking, probably still a white belt. So that's why these, these guys are getting played. That's why these guys are simping. That's why these guys get cheated on. They're so inexperienced and they start dealing with women who are experienced. That's why I think the more experienced you get as a man with women, the more based you become. <laughs> like I saw this study. They did this study and it showed that men who have more experience with women are more likely to be misogynistic than incels. So it's, and that's, I'll have to put that, pull that up or, or put that in here. But a lot of this just comes down to inexperience. I would imagine, no, I know this guy is very inexperienced. And most of these guys who are simps, who are these white knights, they would never dare, dare say a negative thing about a woman. They would never dare criticize a woman. A lot of them are very inexperienced with women. 
So they get walked all over. They get played. So that's why I really do believe that men need experience. Men really, you don't need to marry the first woman you sleep with. Now, if she's a virgin and you're a virgin, that's a different animal. But if you're a virgin and she isn't, you need more experience. You need more experience. And especially in a day and age where women, honestly, even when they're 18, they are getting blown up with opportunities to get experience in the dating world where where 18 year old men just simply aren't getting that so by the time maybe this man is 23 she's 23 and they get together he's likely to get finessed she's got so much more experience than him and it's like a black belt and a blue belt going at it and this guy right here is a blue belt or a white belt dealing with this of girl who's clearly got loads of experience literally and is just finessing the dude played the dude monkey branched on over to the next best thing and this guy's stuck with his dog i mean this sounds depressing but hey there's a reason why they say dog is a man's best friend so at least in this situation it's he's not alone right going to buy it with her, the intention of her being with me but uh now it's just going to be my little buddy and i and uh, and I'm right, gonna build man. a recording studio in it and go hiking and hopefully meet someone new. So that's, you know, uh, yeah. that's kind of what my deal Nick, is. Nick, are you able to, can you pull up, no, no, no. Can you pull up Dating Talk 65? Yeah. Uh, that's the episode that Mick was on with Keely. Um, we don't really need to watch anything, but we'll just show, because Mick was previously on with his then fiance, girlfriend, uh, just for context for people, they appeared together Keely, uh, at the time, and I believe still currently, she is she was a stripper, correct? Well, she started as a stripper for a few years, and then when lockdowns happened, she wasn't able to make any money, so she went to uh, a, being a porn star, and then from being a All porn right, star to doing OnlyFans. Um, and uh, when she was on here, she hadn't done porn in like a year anyway, so. You just gotta chalk that up to inexperienced. Only inexperienced men will take a stripper seriously. I mean, really, that's what it boils down to. Oh, it was right. like just only fans that just we were basically living off of and then yeah. my income too. But was she, she was doing scenes on OnlyFans with other men, is that correct, if I recall? No, not necessarily, unless it was like a sugar daddy that was giving her, um, you know, uh, money, and then they would film content or something around it if there was, and then she, um, but no, it was mostly just uh, pictures of her and stuff, you know. Just one sec. Um, so, she, while you were with her, she was sleeping with other men, is that correct? Yes. Okay. And do you feel like, if I recall the conversations that we were having about that, you said you were okay with it, but it seemed to me, it occurred to me, that you felt to some degree pressured by her to accept the situation. I think at first I was like really disturbed by it and didn't want it. Then I started to get more used to it and become numb to the fact that that was what was going on. Um, but then um, as time went on, it was like, like, we're gonna have a home together. I want to have kids. I want to have, um, you Wait, know. Wait, is, is this what you're saying, or is this what this she's is what saying? I was saying to her? You know, okay, like, I see. I want a committed relationship. I want to love you and cherish you as my wife. I don't want you sleeping around anymore. Like that. That started to sink in more as I was getting older. Like we met, I was like 20, 21, but now I'm 27, almost 28, and a lot can happen in those few years. So it's like. I've matured now to where like, you know, before I was young and naive, and now I'm like a man who wants to have a full-time job, a, you know, a committed wife and, and kids and raise them and have a home and pay a mortgage and do all those adult stuff that I didn't want to do previously, you know, when we first met. Um, so it, it's just, it's a very different mindset. So I think we, we kind of went further and further apart because I wanted to be uh, essentially a normal uh, a middle-aged adult, adult in America. Grid One Motorsports on donated $100. <laughs> Mick, you dodged the bullet there. Don't be a simp, be a pimp and move onto a woman that is not a 304 cum dumpster. Maybe get TF out of CA, take some testosterone, hit the gym. 
Your future children I, will thank you. I hit the gym every day, actually, right down the road here, but, uh... Well, bro, you're not doing that good of a job. I'm not gonna lie. You look pretty out of shape and kind of fat. I'm not trying to be a dick. But, I mean, this guy could have a really big glow-up, per se. If he got really fit, maybe he did take some testosterone. Probably gonna lose more hair. But, I mean, the guy has potential. It'd be really good for him. And it'd be really cool to see if he gets shredded, puts on some muscle, gets rich, just turns into an absolute chad. Yeah, I agree with you. I did dodge a bullet. I definitely, it could have ended worse. Um, but, you know, uh, the the thing is, is that we she wants to continue to, you know, sleep around, meet other guys. Um, she wants to party and drink and smoke. And I don't drink at all. I don't party at all. I don't smoke at all. I don't do any of that stuff. I love socializing. I love meeting new people. Uh, but I'm not into partying and all that stuff, and sh that's what she really wants to do. And I think she's almost become like an alcoholic because she Ooh. can't handle... Sh I, I, I've done a lot of research into psychology, and I believe she's a malignant narcissist. And her coping mechanism for her anxiety and for her narcissism is to sleep with men, um, smoke uh, weed, you know, and and drink uh, alcohol to cope with that because it's it's like a it's like almost like a mental disorder that she has to cope with uh, to um, deal with all the um, stress and anxiety that comes with being a narcissist. Um, and if you don't you know, we hear that a lot in relationships when people break up. They always say, "My ex was a you know inter narcissist. He was a narcissist. She was a narcissist." But what he's describing actually does kind of sound like very well may maybe actually be a narcissist because she's like using these these mechanisms these things to cope with it sleeping with a bunch of men doing drugs drinking alcohol all the time getting fucked up partying that actually does kind of sound like someone who is coping with something internally meeting up with sugar daddies and filming content i mean that's an interesting existence and i use interesting to be kind more so that's a fucked up existence and really someone needs to come along and, and help get her head straight, which he probably was that person. And she's probably going to go down a dark path, honestly. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe she's going to get super rich. She'll probably end up alone, though. But either way, it sounds pretty depressing using all that shit and coping with all that, using drugs and whatnot and sleeping around. But pretty much get the picture. This guy right here, I, I'm just going to chalk it up to inexperience if you want to watch the full clip it's like 20 minutes long i don't really want to hear it i kind of get the gist simp dating only fans girl and she ruined his life over at whatever clips hey man chalk it up to the game took an l you should have known better i'm sure people around you tried to tell you but you had a scarcity mindset for some reason you thought this was the best you could do and she had to be the one to end it but she did you a big favor and hopefully use this as momentum to level up, get yourself on the right path, find you a good woman, maybe look elsewhere, go outside of the country, maybe go into the middle of America, go to the Midwest, find a woman. But good luck finding them in California, especially if they were born and raised there.